All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another tutorial using Photoshop on the iPad. This time we are using layer masks, kind of like we did last time, but with text. So we are going to create a layer mask out of text to make it look like an image or a photo is just shown through the text. I like to see students do this with either photos of themselves or photos of like an athlete or a musician or a rapper or what have you that they like um, to do like, you know, and it's like a motivational quote or lyrics of said rapper or songwriter. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff that we can do with this super simple technique. Before I jump into it, uh, some questions about the equipment that I've been using. Um, right here, this is just an iPad Pro, um, but I was using a fifth generation iPad, just a regular iPad with the same technique earlier. This is an Apple Pencil, however, you can do this whole thing using your finger. It's not complicated, doesn't require pressure sensitivity, easy. So let's jump into it. Now, rather than, rather than creating a, or starting with the photo like we did last time, I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. Now, if you haven't created a new document before, Photoshop gives you a number of templates to pick from. Um, if you want to create something for like letter size paper or uh, our European sizes, you can do it down there. Let's say I want to make this an image for Instagram. Instagram is always on a screen and it uses uh, 1080 by 1080 pixels for a square. So in the screen, I always see the resolution is 72. Let's go ahead and keep the height at 1080 and let's change the width to 1080 as well. So I create and I've got a square, boom. Next step, let's go ahead and insert our photo. We've done this before. Let's go ahead and click the photo button, photos. I've been playing too much Dungeons and Dragons recently. So I found this photo of like a dragon staring down an adventuring party. Let's go ahead and scale that up from the corner. We scale from corners here. You guys know this. Kind of position it however I want. I can probably move it later too. Boom, done. Next step, let's go ahead and hide that layer. So with that layer selected, we hide it. And now let's add our text. Text tool right over here. I can just click and type. Um, you can type whatever you want. Uh, and then we'll manipulate the type. Few things that we want to make sure we're doing it. The font should be something big and bold. You want it to take up space. So let's go ahead and type something out. Love editing text on an iPad. Dungeons. Ampersand. Dragons. I swear I've been playing this too much over quarantine. Um, so I can go ahead and select all that text. And I can increase the font size just so we can see it a little bit. Now, I have Avenir Next. You can never go wrong with Avenir Next. Um, other fonts that I think might work well for this, uh, Futura Bold is always one of my go-tos. Uh, Futura, and then keeping it bold. But it's got to stay bold, right? What we don't want is we don't want something too thin because we want the image to show through it. So I'm going to go back and grab my Avenir Next. I'm going to go ahead and not just choose the bold, but it's got a heavy weight. So let's choose that. And then one more thing I can do while I've got this text menu open. The tracking is the space in between all the letters together. So let's go ahead and drop the tracking. Condense them. Ooh, that's a cool effect. I hit done. Grab my transform tool. Scale it from a corner. And this is looking pretty good. Dungeons and Dragons. Playing it too much. All right, cool. So our next step then is we want to select that text so we can make a layer mask out of the text. So with the text layer selected, let's go ahead and grab our selection tools. The one we're using this time is this guy right here, the uh, the auto selection like rectangle tool. If I click on that, it lets me click and drag a rectangle, and it's going to auto select. You see the selection? It's going to auto select anything inside of that rectangle. What's cool about selections in Photoshop, this is the same thing on a desktop, is that if I hide the layer that I have selected, the selection stays. You guys see how I did that? I'm going to do that. I'm just like hide the layer again. I hide the layer, but the selection stays. Now, if I go to this thumbnail layer, make it visible again, I see I still got a selection. Let's go ahead and make a layer mask on it. Boom. That's it. Tutorial over, right? Like, that's, uh, that's a super simple effect. I can grab my arrow tool, move this guy around, do whatever. I can add it in another photo, but super simple. Um, I can add a background if I wanted it to, anything I wanted to do. So uh, hopefully that 
was a quick, easy, painless tutorial. Another way to use layer masks and selections that we uh, use with Photoshop on the iPad. Um, thank you for watching.